have me do. I'll do the best that I can do, and offer all I do to you with all my heart. my heart can sing with light and grace each day you bring and walk with me through everything this life does impart this life does impart I'm really just a flute you play you give me all the words to say and guide me through each night and day Times endless rounds of times endless rounds. Oh, you who have stolen my heart and filled up each and every part with your love, with your name, you do impart your songs and the songs, your songs and the songs. Whatever. Would have me do. I'll do the best that I can do and offer all I do to you with all my heart, with all my heart. शांतम शशतम अप्रमेय मनोघं निर्वाण शांति प्रदं ब्रह्मा शंभु फनिन्द्रसे ब्यमनिशं विदांत विद्यं विभुम रामाक्षं जगदीश परं सुरगुरुं माया मनुष्यं हरि बंदे हम करुणा करं रघुवरं भूपाल चूरा मुनि I salute Rama, the ruler of the universe, the god of gods, embodied as man through his maya, serene, eternal, immeasurable, stainless, capable of bestowing the peace of nirvana, freedom, worshipped always by Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu and others. All pervading, the object of study in the Vedanta, full of mercy, Lord of the Raghu clan and the crest jewel of the rulers of the world. Om peace, peace, peace. <clears throat> Good morning to you all. Namaskar. It's a wonderful day when we are going to spend one and a half hours in the thought of Ramachandra. The present topic today is Sri Ramachandra, the perfect man. We all know who Ramachandra was. Hindus believe to be an him, believe him uh, to be an avatar incarnation of God as the Christians believe in Jesus. Buddhists believe in Buddha. So Hindus also believe Rama, Krishna, they are incarnations of God. That ultimate reality taking a human form for the liberation of the humanity. People forget. Shami Vivekananda said generally it is in the history we find that people, they forget about their goal, the means, 
how to chase that goal, how to achieve that goal, the goal of human life and how to achieve it. In the course of time, generally we find in the history that every 500 years, there is a personality taking birth, as it were, like us, a common man or woman, and teaching the humanity, showing the path, reminding us of our Samam Bonam, goal of life, and how to achieve that through devotion, through knowledge, through action, through meditation. They, we, people become forgetful of what happened 500 years back, one prophet came, one incarnation came, and what was the teaching, and how to follow. Gradually, we, common people, forget and forget our real nature, forget our divinity. Then again, that ultimate reality, that divine, as it were, taking a form, formless taking a form. But it is everything possible in the case of God. We are Maya Dhin, we are under the spell of the Maya, great illusion, that is why we are deluded. But God is Maya Dhisha, the Lord of the Maya. There is Maya in God, but God is not perturbed, disturbed. This contradictory adjectives are given with God, ultimate reality. It is with form, it is formless. It is Nirguna. Nirakar, then Saguno, Sakar. So these are something that is a, if you don't do any sadhana and pray and don't uh, deeply try to understand uh, the philosophy and also its experience, then it will remain as hoax, a riddle, something um, unbelievable. But those rishis, munis, they said yes. God is with form, God is without form. All maya, all these things, whatever we are passing through in our life, it is there in God, but God is beyond all these things. It cannot have any effect on God. So this Sri Ramachandra also is considered as that nitya, shuddha, buddha, mukta, that ultimate reality appeared in a form thousands of years back and in this month is the nativity of Ramachandra. This year it has fallen on, it has fa uh, fallen on 17th of April. So we are thinking of Ramachandra. Jesus came, we know, on 25th December. Buddha came 2,500 years back. So Ramachandra also, there are uh, differences of opinions in those days. They were not that uh, meticulous in keeping, oh, next uh, uh, our posterity will come, next generation will come. They will, everything we have to write and give, time and date and uh, my name also. Right? In those days, Rishis, Muris were beyond this physicality. Uh, that is truth, is truth I have known, is what is there that I have to put it in record and I have to sign my signature, my name. That is not. Because they did not have the value of all these things. They lived the life, disciples saw that, and it is handed down to the next generation, to the guru, to disciple. Again, disciple matured, experienced, becomes guru. So it comes in that way. So thousands of years back, there was this stories of Ramachandra, you know. But today we will discuss the human aspect of Ramachandra. You know, Ramachandra killed. He was an avatar, an incarnate of God. Why God incarnates? To destroy the evil. In the Gita, Sri Krishna is telling, Yada, Yada, Hidharma, Saglani, Bhavati, Bharata, Bhuttanam. I take body, I embody myself. Whenever I find that it is too much, 
going on, bad things. People have forgot their divine, divine nature. People have forgot their goal of life. And this evil forces are raising its hood and trying to uh, uh, overpower uh, these uh, good forces, dharma, will be extinct. So, I embody myself to establish the dharma and to save, protect the holy people, sadhu, santo, devotees who are taking God's name. Ramachandra's life started in that way. All human nature, you see, aspect. This Vishnamitra came, hey, Dashara to give your, he was in, in, in his teens at that time, Ramchandra, give your son, this Rakshasas, Pishachas, all these um, uh, evil forces, demons, demoniac forces, they are disturbing my sacrifices, meditation, yajna, we cannot perform, do our duties as the Brahmanas, as the Rishis, Munis. And we have taken the vow, ahimsa. I am not going. I am not going to kill anybody. Abhayam sarbo bhute When we take the vow of shannasha, this, then we offer om swaha. What is that? No, I will not kill anybody. Anybody and everybody can be feeling fearless in my presence. I will not be the cause of. So you are Kshatriya, it is your duty, the kings, Kshatriyas, to protect the subjects, common people, and to see that there is the rule of law, morality, ethics, these are prevailing. So, dharma, to protect the dharma, dharma means righteousness, not this going to churches and religion, Christian, Hindu, Muslim, Buddha, these are... These are Western idea of this dharma. Dharma means you are dutiful. What is the duty? You are a sadhu, you must live. You are a monk, you must follow the code, monastic codes. You are a father, you must be an ideal father. You are a husband, you are a wife, you are a child, you are a student, you are a guru. So everyone's duty is there. Do your duty, that is the dharma. And do it following the path of righteousness, following the path of truthfulness, honesty, purity, this. The Kshatriya's dharma is to protect the common people from the harm of the evil forces. We know there is, you have to be practical, there is good, there is bad. Choice is yours, you can become mind yourself. So this is going on. So good and bad is there and the dis responsibility of the Kshatriyas, kings, to protect sadhu, santas, uh, spiritual aspirants, good people, holy people, protecting everyone, but mostly protecting, seeing that this powerful one does not do any harm to the comparatively less powerful or weak people. So, this is dharma. And Ramchandra, he was a teenager at that time. His father was being requested by Vishwamitra Muni, yeah, give the boy with me. They are disturbing. He will go, father was telling you, oh, Rishi, Muni, Take me, I am a king, I am a matured one, what I have to kill, I am, I am killing, I am going, why you are trying to take my small son? To father, mother, boys are always small, they are always children, even if they become 50, 60, if you have 80, 90 years, father, mother, they will say, hey, have you taken food, take care of your health, oh, this is not, the son or daughter is 60, uh, um, uh, still father, mother, because they are at 80s, 90s, they think, no, they do, cannot take care. So, father also out of his love for the son, he said, please, I am going with you, Rishi, Vishamitra. Don't ever know, it is not your duty, I need him. 
And then Boshishto said, yes, give the boy. Don't you know how you got Ramchandra? His birth is not a normal human birth at, as we uh, generally have. You know, you did a uh, yagya, a sacrifice, fire sacrifice, and then God, fire God appeared and gave the boon and the, from the Payasam Prasad, this uh, uh, sacred uh, uh, entity, that Prasad, you have got this, all these children. So, why, father, mother, this is Maya. Dasharatha knows that Ramchandra is that ultimate reality appearing in the form of his son, still thinking, I have to protect. In the Krishna's case, in Mary's case, Jesus, you see, they know how Mary was conceived. It was not a normal conception as generally we are born. Still, they will be always very, very concerned. What will happen to my baby? What will happen if anything wrong? This is our filial, this motherly, paternal, this is feeling. And this is called Maya. And we know when Sri Krishna was being born in the prison house at midnight, it was not a normal baby. Yeah. With all its uh, um, Shankha, Chakra, Gada, Paddha, Inda, Bhagavata, very wonderful description is there. A luminous one. Still, father and mother is thinking, hey, if the sentry comes, if the king, Kongsha comes, and then he will kill, what will happen to the baby? Seeing that it is a divine uh, nativity, it is not a normal baby's delivery, still, father, mother, it is, this is Maya. We are all under this spell. So, this Ramchandra's life also, wonderful. He killed so many big, big uh, Asuras, Rakshasas, demons. But today we will try to uh, see, as a human being, how we can follow his footsteps. If God is there, oh God, you are there, we will feel frustrated, depressed. What is the um, meaning of following Ramchandra, Jesus, Buddha? They are gods, goddesses. We cannot, Durga, Kali. We cannot become like them. I know from a distance, I'm making a pranam, salutation. Okay, thank you. We will not strive for our own upliftment. But the scriptures say, no. Each and everyone has to prepare his or her, her path forward. My mother can prepare my food and give it to me, but I have to take it myself. My mother can put it in my mouth also. You can take the horse to the river, but you cannot force it to drink it. The horse itself has to drink it. We have to eat ourselves, although mother has done everything. Mother can put me into my mouth also, but he cannot, she cannot chew on behalf of me. I have to chew. My digestive system, my father's mother's digestive system will not digest my food. So these are the teachings that you take the responsibility. Shami Bibhagananda was telling, don't blame others. You are the maker of your destiny. Ramchandra's message is also there. Have faith in yourself. Face the challenges of life. Although you are thinking you are human, human, all right. As a human being also you have some power, some energy. You can utilize that to raise yourself. And then you are, you are human outwardly, but actually that divine is being covered by this human form. Express your divinity. And that is religion. Some people want to say, religion is the manifestation of the divinity already in man. Brutes cannot do it. It is a journey from a brute, brute man to a Buddha man. We are in the brute level. There's a, he, there's a very nice funny story. Um, there is a letter from Swami Vivekananda to one of Sri Ramakrishna's very uh, senior and devoted devotees, uh, Balaram Babu, whose house master visited more than 100 times. <clears throat> and said, it is father and son, like that, the relation between Balaram Babu and Sri Ramakrishna, it is like M, the recorder of the gospel. 
So, because they had a little frustration, depression, that uh, moksha, liberation, all the highest goals of life will be met and um, attained by the monastic children only. We are householders, what will happen to us? They are frustration. Oh, why are you are thinking in that way? Know your relation with it. It is like father and son. Oh. Whatever treasure is there, I have. Uh, you are the uh, genuine, uh, uh, rightful uh, uh, successors, heirs of all these things. Only you have to feel that, yes, I am your father and you deserve that as a right. So, this divinity within to express this is the goal of human life. When people forget this, God comes to show the path. And in our human form also, we have our power. Gradually we, we discover the divinity within. And Ramchandruji's life is wonderful. My topic is the perfect man. Nobody in this universe can be perfect other than that ultimate reality. This is also in the scripture. Everything must have a little adulteration. Otherwise it cannot be formed. It cannot be created. Anything created must have some kind of adulteration. Gold, pure gold cannot form any ornament. If you want to make an ornament, you have to add some kind of alloy in it. it you have to. Otherwise, pure gold cannot prepare anything. So that in this universe, the perfect, most perfect one, the purer of the purest is there in heaven, in the or wherever, everywhere. It is that Brahman. Ramchandraji about him, it is written in the Ramnam when we do, uh, it is written, Shuddha Brahma Parat Pararam Kalatmaka Paramishara Ram. What is the meaning? Shuddha Brahma Parat Pararam. Who are you, Ramchandra? Thou art, thou art pure Brahman and the greatest of all beings. Jesus afterwards said, who hath seen it, the Son, hath seen it, the Father. I and my Father are one. And afterwards Jesus that also said, we forget that. It is not that he claimed that I am only the perfect one and you don't, your, your future is doomed. Uh, all will go to the hell. It is not that. Jesus himself is telling that Be thou perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. He is asking us, but we forget, no, no, Jesus is perfect, God is perfect, we from a distance, no. Human aspect of Ramchandra is, there are so many things that we can learn, we can improve ourselves. Wonderful uh, virtues, so noble virtues are there. In Jesus, in Buddha, in Rama, in Krishna, in Ramakrishna. Why they show all these things? They show that yes, you can also, if you try to strive to attain, you can also achieve that state where I am. Bhavagandhu is telling, you all have the potential of Buddha, Jesus. Krishna, Rama, and you have to be that. That is the teaching. We only think, no, God will come, God will liberate. I will only sleep and snore. Everything God will do. And you are God. God has given you that discrimination, that understanding. Have faith in yourself and face the challenges of life. See the history. What, what happened in the lives of all these so-called prophets? God, God incarnate, God's son. How much they suffered? But they never ever gave in and gave up. Uddharet atmana atmanam natmanam avasadet In the Gita, Sri Krishna is telling, raise yourself by yourself. Shami Bhagavan is telling, the, 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 take the whole responsibility on your shoulder. Don't blame others. You are the creator of your own fate. Don't blame others. Where is God? You leave that God. You are God. 
You exercise your power, your divine power, and it will come out. Strive hard, and it will come. Believe in my words. All power is within you. I am quoting Vivekananda. All power is within you. You can do anything and everything. Believe in my words. Don't think you are weak. You are divine. Stand up and express the divinity within. If you think you are weak, you will be weak. If you think you are strong, stronger you must be. There is strength. If I have learnt anything from the Upanishads, the Vedanta, it is nothing but fearlessness. Avi, avi, charayveti, go forward. Fearlessness. I am quoting Vivekananda, what I have learned from the Vedanta, Upanishads, that he was preaching all over the world. Vivekananda himself is telling, it is fearlessness. Penniless a person, coming, not having sufficient uh, clothing also, warm clothing, to cover himself, one night, many nights, he had to spend in the in the in the train uh, a goods compartment uh, in a in a crate in some somehow managing uh, to to um, prevent to be being uh, fro fro frozen that was the condition but no no complaint and having faith always in himself and he many, ti many times said, face the brute. Brute means challenges of life. If you run away, it will chase you. Whole life. Life after life. So, face it now. And if, if any uh, imperfection is there, any bad thing is there, any evil propensity is there, you give it up. Automatically your divinity will sprout, it will come out. After the night, dark night, know that there will be dawn, there will be sun, sun will rise in the... Don't try to run away from the night, there will be night. But that is not the end of the creation, day will come, have that faith, hope. So, this Ramchandra, that ultimate reality, pure Brahman, appeared in the body, in this body, as it were. So, when uh, by taking Rama's name, he himself purified to the level of the Rishi, this Balmiki, then he asked a question to, uh, question to uh, Naradji, that divine singer, minstrel, going everywhere singing God's name. And so I singing, they take God's name, you will purify your mind. And when your mind and intellect is purified, vision will come. You will see all these things. These are not impossible. Shami Vivekananda, another word. Impossible. There is no such word in my dictionary. See the faith in themselves. Outwardly, they are also a human being with two hands, two eyes, one mouth, one head, two legs, limited power, energy. But taking the whole, Hanumanji, having faith in Ramchandra, knows that Ramchandra is that ultimate reality, taking this human form to establish dharma, to kill Ravana, and it is my duty as the disciple of Ramachandra, and a shevak, a servant of Ramachandra, to carry out his order, doing everything at his behest, and not caring anyone. Jumping, Ramachandra, God himself, had to prepare the breeze from mainland, Indian mainland, to connect the island, uh, what was Ceylon, Sri Lanka. God himself had to do in that way. But his devotee, Hanumanji, just by one jump. That is the power of faith. 
There are so many stories. Sri Ramchandra, Sri Ramakrishna also about Ramchandra. So many stories. If you read the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, how many stories he spoke? Every he spoke Sri Ramakrishna, Upama Sri Ramakrishna, so anecdotes, stories, examples, bringing it from Ramchandra's life. It happened in Ramchandra's life. This happened. That happened. This is Lakshmana. So many things he was teaching. He was telling a story. Oh, you don't believe? It happened in Ramchandra. Do you know Ramchandra? You cannot see it. No. Sri Ramakrishna was so practical that he knew that if you something imaginary, always philosophical talks will not um, uh, cast the mind of the ordinary people. They want something concrete that yes, it happens. It is happening with him, her. It may happen with me also. So he used to give always uh, use very practical instances, examples from life. So, uh, Narajji came and Balmiki uh, asked a question. And from that, this Ramayana came this way, how Ramchandra was delineated by Balmiki. And I am reading what Swami Vivekananda said what we find in Ramchandra, why he should be our ideal role model to follow. <clears throat> I am quoting from Swami Vivekananda. Ramo, the ancient idol of the heroic ages, the embodiment of truth, of morality, the ideal son, the ideal husband and the ideal father, and above all, the ideal king. This Ramo has been presented before us by the great sage Balmiki, who wrote the biography of Ramchandraji. This name I told. He was himself a sinner, a fallen one, a robber, a killer, Ratnakar, turned into by taking God's name, Ramo, Ramo, Ramo. It is not that everyone has to take Ramo Ramo. You take Jesus, Jesus. You take Buddha, Buddha. You take Hori, Hori. You take Kali, Kali. You take Krishna, Krishna. You take Om, Om. You take Ramakrishna, Ramakrishna. No problem. But you must have the faith that the name I am taking, it is none other than the gods. And it is not the tiny god. One god is there, my god is one, my guru is one. No. You will get everything, dharma, artha, kamo, moksha, the highest goal of samambona of human life, everything achieved in this life by doing, repeating the name, if you have the faith. That is the main thing. If you do not have that, then the best teacher also coming and giving you the best mantra, highest mantra. All mantras are good, all are God's goddesses name. The result, fruition, depends on our faith and our sincere attempt. So, this Balmiki, he himself has become says by taking God's name from a sinner, from a rogue, a robber, a Ratnakar. Now he is asking the Narada that who in this universe has got the 16 virtues, very rare, uncommon, not seen in everyone's, so one or two you may have, but all this in the highest, fullest expression. Then Narada said that yes, it is Ramachandra, in him only you can have. In those days, Ramachandra was the ideal, perfect man having all those virtues. We will come to that. But Swamiji is telling that this says Balmiki has presented. No language can be purer, none chester, none more beautiful and at the same time simpler than the language in which the great poet has depicted the life of Rama. Wonderful description. If you read only Bible, you will think, oh, only Jesus is there. If you read only 
Krishna's life, Bhagavata, you will think, ah, only Krishna is there. If you leave only Buddha's life, you will think only Buddha is there. It is not that. That is why Sri Ramakrishna said, yes, in the beginning, have a little taste of everything, different Tirthasthan places, know a little. Then finally come to this conclusion that all appearing different forms and names actually one. Know that. This is called Advaita Jnana. Knowledge of the Advaita. One. That one appearing in different forms, in different realms, in different ages, for different people. And teaching also differently. Some was keeping too much stress on bhakti. Jesus is telling, ah, if you, somebody slaps on you one cheek, give another cheek. It is completely Sri Krishna is telling, oh, what is this? Klabbang maashma gama partha noi tattva yipa paddhate shudrang ridhaya darbalna tattva. Stand up. Bad people, evil-minded people, evil forces will come and destroy you. It is your responsibility to protect you and also protect your family and others. If you are a powerful and if you are a man, you should take care of the baby. One car is coming. There is no one. It is not your baby. It is not my baby, this baby, my father. No. It is your responsibility to see that there is nothing wrong happens. No accident happens. Because it is a baby. Who is it? So you have to take the responsibility. Shami Vivekananda is telling this. Ahimsa, non-violence does not mean non-violence of the weak is no non-violence. And it will not have any impact. Non-violence is when father, mother, being irritated by the baby, does not slap beer. This is non-violence. Father, mother can, teacher can punish the student, but all right, allowing. If an elephant going and one uh, dog is barking, an elephant does not do anything, that is non-violence. But if the dog says, hey elephant, go, uh, there is a story in the master's story, that how people think false pride. Ramchandra did not have false pride. This is also one of the qualities I will come. Why he is perfect. All the virtues in its fullest uh, extent, uh, it is present in Ramchandra's life. That is why he is the most perfect one. So, Sri Ramakrishna is giving an example. The e ego is so much that a small, tiny frog shouting at the elephant because elephant has just jumped from this side to that side. Sri Ramakrishna is telling the frog is shouting at, hey elephant, do you know? You are just going over me. Huh? I am not doing anything this time. Hmm. Do you know? I have a one rupee. Those who have money, they think in that way. Those who have power, big, big president of powerful countries, they can start bombing anywhere. Whether sufficient reasons are there or not, they will do. This is world. This is false pride, thinking. Hiranyakashipu, in the scriptures also, in those days also, it is not now only. You see? How much war is going on here and there? There is no uh, e solution in a, in, a, in a better way, in a peaceful manner. But who will teach them? Because they are so powerful. If you have sufficient uh, Durjodhana, Sri Krishna went to make uh, an agreement with the brothers, brothers don't fight. Durjodhana is to know, oh, you have come to give knowledge to me. Huh? Do you know? Am I less powerful than you, Krishna? I can defeat you. I can imprison you. Now, Sri Krishna had to, he was the mediator. He had to leave the place because he was so arrogant. St started fighting. Hanumanji was telling Ravana, please return Sita and you will be saved. Ramchandra is so ocean of compassion. Although you have done wrong, but either confess that and return Sita. Ramchandra is so merciful, he will not count your sin. Ravana is telling you, oh, huh, a monkey, you are giving me knowledge, lecture. Huh? I am Ravana, I can do anything and everything. 
the haughtiness. Ramchandru had power, but not haughtiness, arrogance. Hanumanji had power. He defeated Ravana. Ravana could not do anything. But he had devotion, not arrogance, submission, faith in God. And you know, I have not come to make the fight here with Ravana. My duty as a messenger is to take Sita returned back. And convincingly, he was trying to convince uh, with all good words. You are such a wonderful man, Ravana. You are so powerful. How much tapasya you did? But you have done wrong thing. And confess, return. Ravana will not. That is arrogance. Power, if you have too much power. Tyson used to, anything happens, three or four wives, I forget now, in those days when we were teenagers, Tyson has, first thing is, any, any complaint from wives, anybody, he will make a uh, slap, a, what do you call this? Hmm? Punch. Punch. <laughs> that he knows, <laughs> and he will utilize it everywhere. Those who have money, they think in that way. So in Ramchandra's life, we find that wonderful life has been depicted, and this life, if we can try to, uh, if we meditate, all these qualities also will come in our lives. <clears throat> Ramchandra was ideal son, ideal brother, ideal husband. Sita did not have any, 14 years she was living with the husband, having no fault on her part. But 14 years exile, she was also suffering from. It is suffering from uh, for us, but not for Ramu, not for Sita, not for Lakshmana. Ramu wanted to go alone. Lakshmana said, no, I will not let you go, my dear, I will go with you. Brother, my father has uh, promised that I will be exiled to my mother. So truthfulness, eh, yes. I have not done anything wrong. Father also has not done anything wrong. But because father has given one word to somebody that he, if you ask a boon, I will give. And the boon was that you send your son. That was the coronation day of Ramchandra, young prince. No, throw him out for 14 years. So I am going, fathers, let father's word be fulfilled. Uh, he should not come back. He should keep up to his words. Lakshmana said, I will go. Voluntarily you went and suffered 14 years in the jungles. Sita, wife. Ramchandra said, you are, leave me, Sita. You are, you are, you are, you are a, a princess. You are not habituated in, in the, there are wild life, animals, this, that. I alone can manage myself. Don't worry for me. I'll. But if you go, it will be too much for you. Please, my dear, you remain at home. No, I'll go. Sita, self voluntarily accepting this life of suffering. 14 years of exile. Can you imagine? No eating, this eating, this fruits, roots, this, that, whatever, perchance coming. What a life they lived. What was the fault? Nothing. To keep the truth. No arrogance, no complaint. So, ideal husband, ideal friend, Gohak Chandalo, he was prince, but hugging, embracing, staying there, yes, I am going, which way I should go? Outcast is his friend, not showing, eh, don't touch. I am a prince, I belong to upper caste. I am a Kshatriya, you know. And the ideal king, Marjada Purushottamu, king, such a king, that he knows that Sita did not have any impurity in her. Wow, she has already done it in, in, in uh, Lanka, uh, before uh, having the touch of uh, Ramchandra. He already entered into the fire and proved. Ramchandra knew, but... Again, because subjects, they are like my children. They are 
thinking, they are talking. In, in disguise, he went to the uh, a, um, city, capital, and found that people are talking. Ramchandra is so pious, so nice. How could Ramchandra keep Sita as his wife, who was ten months uh, with Ravana? Is, is she just a, a genuine, a, 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 an ideal king should not keep such a wife? So since these people were in that dilemma, in that confusion, all that Sita, they are talking all these things. Please, you go and leave there. But he knew that Sita did not do. Sita is not. She was purity, personification. Sita, Ramchandra knew. But ideal king. I will see the good of the my citizens, my subjects. They have made me. I am king not to enjoy myself. My kingship nowadays. Why people go to the power? Spend millions and billions. I have to remain in power for making more money and to enjoy um, uh, this endless power and position and all these things. This is world. But Ramchandra's case, nothing else. So, ideal king, and that is why he was called Marjada Purushottamo, the best among the dignified human beings. Most perfect. 100% perfection in this universe is not possible other than that ultimate reality. That is the only perfect. But next to that, this, in Ramchandra's life, we find this virtues manifest. So, Lakshmana uh, he, uh, says, Balmiki asked, once asked the heavenly says, Narada, who among the heroes of the world is the best in virtue and wisdom? Narada replied, Sri Rama is the person who possesses all noble virtues. In Sri Rama are collected together in one personality all the noble virtues developed to the fullest. So, there is the uh, a story of, it goes in that way, and these virtues are, I am just giving, that these are present in Ramchandra's life, his conduct, his character, his activities, whole life. This 16, the Ramayana enumerates 16 qualities of Lord Rama, and on the basis of this, he is regarded as the Maryada Purushottama, the best among the dignified human beings and the most perfect one as a human being. Number one, Gunobhanu, principled and endowed with excellent qualities. This is the most endearing quality which makes him come to his, this world again and again. This, so many virtues in the Gita also, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is telling Arjun. Uh, you have lost faith in yourself, but you do not know. You are born with the divine qualities, virtues. In the 16th chapter, it is written, Doiva Asura Sampad Vibhaga Yoga, Doivi Sampad Vimoksha. These divine qualities, virtues, liberates people. You will be liberated. You are unaware of your treasure. And those who are born with this, 26 in the Gita, Krishna's time, he says, They are Abhayang Satta Sang Suddhir Gyanu Yoga Vavustiti Danang Damasya Jagyasya Saddhaya Stapa Marjavam Ahingsa Satta Makrodas Tayago Shanti Rapuishunam Dvaya Bhuteshu Alaluptam Mardavam Ghrira Chapalam Tejak Shama Dhriti Shocha Madro Nati Manita Bhavanti Sampadam Doivim Abhijata Sabharata Sri Krishna also was born with all these qualities and you are my companion, my friend. My assistant in establishing the dharma, role of righteousness. Arjuna, you are also born with this. What are those? Absolute fearlessness, perfect purity of mind, constant fixity in the yoga of meditation for the sake of self-realization. And even so, charity in its sattika form, 
we also give eh? i give eh? I something you are bigger i am giving and take a photograph give it is there tv here there there no that is also that is very inferior type of charity charity what your right hand will give satyak or left hand will not know you will not boast for that you will not ask for anything in return gratitude name fame recognition some praise ah you are so great you have given so much money you know god has given you it is not your money when you were born did you come with money wealth when you will go will you take in this life by god's grace through your activities energy actions you got it through god's grace god has given it will remain here when you will be no more so utilize it for good why you are taking the pride false ego that i am giving where have you got it from so this is satika form of charity control of the senses worship of god and other deities as well as of one's elders including the performance of agnihotra this sacrifice pouring oblations into the sacred fire and other sacred duties study and teaching of the vedas and other sacred books as well as the chanting of god's name and praises suffering hardships for the discharge of one's sacred obligations and straightness of mind as well as of the body and senses non violence in thought word and deed truthfulness and geniality of speech absence of anger even on provocation disclaiming or doership in respect of actions quite quite should for or composure of mind abstaining from malicious gossip compassion towards all creatures absence of attachment to the objects of senses even during their contact with the senses mildness a sense of shame in tra- transgressing against the scriptures uh, or uses and abstaining from frivolous pursuits sublimity forbearance fortitude external purity bearing enmity to none and absence of self esteem these are the marks of him who is born with this divine gifts or you know and thou are born with this divine gifts be aware of your treasure in ramchandra ji's life also this is wonderful this treasure uh, trove as it were he was he was gunavan all the virtues viryavan endowed with prowess and potential ability to lead i will go alone sita lakshmana you don't need to go it is my ordeal i'll go so full confidence to face the challenges of life ramchandra dharmagya he knew consci- consciences and well versed in dharma religious scriptures the universal integral justice what is good what is bad what is to be done what not all this kritagna and it kritagna means one who is grateful even to those like kaike and have gratitude for her to indirectly helping him experience many good things during exile kaike the step mother she she was causing her exile his exile and she said mother you are a boon it is a boon i in exile so many things good things i will learn so what living in the palace and living in the uh, exile in the jungle in in the wild life forest no difference see and no no complain against mother no ill feeling that this step mother has asked this boon for my exile to my father and he is the cause of all my suffering he is not thinking it is a suffering he has taken it so positively you see so gratefulness mother Yeah, I am so grateful that I am having the chance to go to the jungle and live there fourteen years. I will be enriched there. Satya Bhakti, always following the truth, always walked on the path of Satya and lived by those principles, including peace. Nahi Satya at Parutaro Dharma or Scripture. There is no greater virtue than Dharma. no greater dharma no greater virtue than what truth 
Sattam eva jayate nan ritam. Always truth must be triumphant, not the falsity. These are the Rishi Munis, this is scripture. This you have to follow. So, she was so follower stick to the, uh, sticking to the truth that no father has said, not me, but I will go. Dhrirabrata. Dhrirabrata means though surrounded by adversities, never forsakes the dharma, self-determined and firm in his vows. Dhrirabrata means firm in his vows. No. My father has given word as the eldest son. It is my responsibility to see that my father's words are kept. My father stick to truth. It is my duty, my dear brother, sister, mother. He remain here. I am going. What is there? Charitrino chako yuktaha. Blend with the high moral values and known for the great personal conduct. Shurpunaka, the sister of Ravuno, uh, taking a very beautiful uh, shape and form and trying to seduce Ramchandraji. Ramchandra said, hey, I am already married. Don't you see I have my wife? How can you come, my dear? Go. Not giving in. Not indulging in all these things. This charitra, you know, blending of these high moral values, ethics, morality, personal conduct. Always. Sarva bhute shu ko hitaha. He is munificent oil wisher of all. From me, no one should suffer. Sita, you go to the exile. I am going to the exile. My stepmother be happy, making her son, Bharata, the king. I don't have any objection to that. Although I am the elder brother already selected, today is my coronation day. I am going to do the havan sacrifice, fire sacrifice and Assuming the so what? He is my brother. Yes, you will be happy. Me. Bharat was telling, no, I will not do. My dear brother, follow my words. Mother has asked it. Father has done it. How can you go against mother, father's will? See the ideal son. Ideal brother. Ideal husband. Ideal friend. Bibishana. You know, Ravana has kicked you out. All right, I will protect you. Don't worry. I'll protect. Sugribo, Bali. Bali was kill, trying to kill Sugribo, two brothers. He said, all right, I'll protect you since you have accepted me as your friend. So, the good for each and everyone, Bidwan, knower of everything. Samartha. Competent in doing things that cannot be done by others. His limitless ability was demonstrated by transforming this Banavasa, the exiled it, into a developing alliance. King Ravana and revealing the remarkable characters of his brothers and Hanumano, all attracted by Sri Rama's extraordinary capabilities. All these things, qualities, virtues, values, through his own life and conduct, behavior, speech, everything, through everything he has expressed. Eko Priyadarshana, very beautiful. His appearance is externally pleasing. Even the enemy would be pleased seeing Sri Ramakrishna. There are many descriptions, I do, we don't have time. In the Ramnamo, we chant that, oh, so beautiful, lotus eyed Ramchandra, handsome, mm. from all points of view. He was perfect. Atmaban, one who has control over his desires and senses and has conquered his mind. No enjoyment means no enjoyment. In the jungle also, this Shugri was telling, come and stay in my palace. I know, I have taken the vow to remain in the jungle, not to enjoy your uh, hospitality in the palace, my dear. I will be here. Oh, many are offering many things. Oh, you are King Dasharatha's son. Oh, no. I have taken this vow. So, that ability always uh, <coughs> uh, conquered his own mind. Jitokrodha, conqueror of anger, 
ever calm and quiet, unperturbed in all situations, not getting angry in any situation, not losing the mind, not being under the spell of anger and taking a decision, taking the retaliation, no, calm and quietly, giving time, everything, accepting. Jito Krodo, conqueror of anger, Dutiman, special splendor emanating from his body, the brilliant one, his physical charm, form was so charming, the divine, so attractive and soothing for the mind. Anybody used to see him, so a resplendent one. Anybody came to in contact, always there was an aura. So, Dutiman, splendid. Anusuyakta, never jealous of another's knowledge, wealth, progress and power. Ravana was dying on the bed, his number one enemy who has taken away his wife, abducted, and everything wrong did against Rama and Sita. Ravan, he is telling Ravan, he is a very qualified Pandit, Gyani, man of knowledge, done something wrong he has done and he has been paid back. He has got his punishment, my dear, he will die. Go and ask for knowledgeable advice. Lakshmana is telling him, what? I will go to Ravana, that rogue, for advice? Uh, he, he himself is a debauched, characterless man, person, and I'll go to be taught by him. Ramachandra is telling you, oh, he is the Vedagna, all the Vedas, at his tongue, on his tongue. Go. He knows what is good, what is bad. Go ask, you will die. So he is sending Lakshmana, and that from there we got this teaching. Shubhasya Shigram or Shubhasya Kaan Laharanam. Ravana said, Oh, Lakshmano, Ramchandra has sent, so I have to say something. But otherwise, what I can teach you? You know everything there is in the scripture. Is it uh, befit me that I will teach you? No, my dear. I don't have that arrogance and uh, uh, that false conceit. But since Ramchandra has asked you to come to me, I tell you, I have, as I am senior in age, I have a little experience. From my experience, I tell you, Shubhasya Shigram or Shubhasya Kalaharanam. I had the power to uh, make the stair from here to heaven. But I thought I will do, I have the power. Always I was taking time and taking time and now I am dying. I could not do and all power is gone. I have done something wrong and all my divine power gone. I cannot do anything. If I did at that time, people would have blessed me. Nobody could needed to go to hell. Everyone could go to the heaven. I had that power. I thought of, but I did not execute. So always any good thought come in the mind, execute it. Otherwise, it may happen that you will not have the chance again to do that. You may lose it, your mind may change or your power may go. Situation may change. That good thing you will not be able to do and you will not be able to earn the merit also. So, Shubhasya Shigram, Ashubhasya. My sister Shurpanaka came, Sita is very beautiful and you are the king. You have the right to enjoy any woman in this, in the, in, under your jurisdiction. Why Sita? You will not, will not be your queen. You, you bring Sita and immediately you went. I did not I know that Sita is somebody else's wife and it is not the ethics, morality, dharma to rob, uh, to, to abduct someone's wife. Did not I know that? Am I a fool? But since my sister has said immediately I did and executed this bad thing and now you see bad thing comes. Our mind is always volatile. Sometimes good thoughts, sometimes bad thoughts. When good thoughts come, immediately execute. When bad thoughts come, Shun it. Give it time. Don't be under the spell of that uh, pull. Allow it. It will also subdue. It has come to the mind now. And next moment it will go. Today it is there. Tomorrow it will go. You will understand. No, no, it is bad. I should not do. I thought of doing this, my all the salty area. My people, when they go out of Lanka, it is golden Lanka. There is no question. But outside Lanka, all saline water, they cannot drink water. I thought, oh, what? I will change the whole ocean, turn into a Kshit Samudra. The nectar, ocean of nectar, sweetened milk, 
everyone will go and enjoy this nectar i had the power i thought i will do but i was thinking i am amar i am eternally i am going to live i am not going to die so i'll do i'll do i took this good thoughts came i did not execute but one bad thought came immediately i executed and brought my fall so these are the teachings from ravana who was the enemy of ramchandra so never jealous of anybody even his number one four and i end it here last one bibhuti deva cha jato roshasya samyuge what is the meaning meaning is even demigods fear when he is provoked to war or buruno and indra san were trembling when ramchandra was not giving the way to come to lanka ramchandra said i am begging sita is there i have to go what is wrong why you are not allowing me you please go away and all. and you are showing your then i also have to have show my might he took his arrow and just going to discharge it issue the arrow and the i will completely suck the ocean through my arrow then varundavata no 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 samudra god no 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 please save me save me so all these 16 qualities are there in full ex- extent and he never misused it he did everything following the path of truthfulness satyam eva joyate holding on to truth always loving and trusted to his friends and brothers living the life of ethics and morality and doing the following the rule of karma yes nobody is to be blamed for my suffering and it is not suffering just the obstacle uh, stumbling obstacle transforming into a stepping stone that was ramchandra in his life we find a perfect human qualities virtues which we can strive to practice and if we really strive consciously sincerely and pray to ramchandra oh ramchandra ji please bless us with all this wonderful virtues that you have been virtuous then i think it is not i think it is there in the scripture if you pray knock and the door shall be opened unto you if we can pray with sincere heart then we can also be perfect as jesus has said without perfect as your father in the heaven is perfect let us all try to be perfect om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna namaste <coughs>
a few announcements. Fourteenth Sunday, Vedanta in five words. Shami Vedarupananda will speak on that. Twenty-first, jumping into spiritual life. Prabhrajika, Brajapranaji. Twenty-eighth, the forest of Samsara. Sami Sarvadevanandaji Maras. And other classes, Wednesdays, Sami Akhundananda by Sami Anandananda. That book will be followed by Prabhrajika Krishna Pranaji. Saturday's Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna at 5 p.m and 27th annual members meeting by zoom 10 am members will receive the zoom link by email thank you all i'll be standing there to greet you and uh, after that if some questions are there i'll come back here yeah.